after Sammy was born, I got pregnant six months later with Lola, and I filed for divorce when I was six months pregnant. Denise Richards reveals why she got a divorce from Charlie Sheen when she was pregnant with their second daughter. We had a very um, high profile divorce, so I understand the curiosity. The actress opens up on the Just Be With Bethany Frankel podcast about her four year marriage to Charlie and its unraveling. Denise and Charlie welcomed their first daughter together, Sammy, in 2004, and their second baby girl, Lola, in 2005, and finalized their divorce in 2006. He's such a great dad, he's so hands-on. The former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is also mom to 12-year-old Eloise, whom she shares with her husband, Aaron Pfeiffers. You know, the best gift we can give our kids is time, so I always try to, obviously they're my first priority. As for Charlie, he's dad to 38-year-old Cassandra with Paula Prophet and 14-year-old twin sons Bob and Max with his ex, Brooke Mueller. How bad is your family life inside? Like in what, because we're reading in the tabloids, how insane is what's going on in your house? Or is it- Well, insane enough for me to file for divorce six months pregnant. In a previous interview on the Divorced Not Dead podcast, Denise described what it was like living with Charlie during his drugs and alcohol relapse after previously being sober for the start of their relationship. The behind the scenes stuff was way worse than what was out there. Denise says things were really bad and she hit her breaking point, asking herself if she would want her daughters to be married to a man like Charlie. No offense to him, but it's yeah. true. And I think he would take that. He would understand what I'm saying. It was very toxic. I would want to be my true authentic self and be really honest and open. Over on Bethany's podcast, Denise says she was the one who convinced Charlie to take on the role of Charlie Harper on Two and a Half Men. Hey, am I old enough to have coffee now? You still think armpit farts are funny? <laughs> yeah. Then no. The role earned him several Golden Globe and Emmy nominations. To be able to do good work and to do it in your home city <laughs> and to go home and be with your loved ones at night is yeah. uh, it's just a, it's a gift, you know? I read the script and I'm like, you have to do this show. He was going to do a different show. Right. I read the script. I go, you're crazy for not doing this. You haven't seen a woman in nine years and she's got an eight-year-old. So what? You showed up at my door with a 10-year-old and I hadn't seen you in 11 years. <laughs> But it was that same success that Denise says may have led to Charlie's relapse. I think because the success of Two and a Half Men and the money, I think, led to him getting back into not he being sober. During the couple's very public divorce, tabloids labeled Denise a gold digger, but she claims she didn't go after his money from the hit show, even though now she thinks she should have. I think I would have deserved every penny what i had to deal with the money was the last thing that we dealt with as for denise and charlie's daughter sammy who is now 19 years old she's carving her own path okay i need to clear some things up i am not a p star and i don't meet up with people and if people did their research they would realize that there's multiple forms of s work i don't know why people are so judgmental towards it whatever they want to do i just want them happy and follow their passion and their heart yeah sammy's living life on her own terms choosing to undergo breast implant surgery which forced her to kick her nicotine addiction i'm on um day two of no nicotine and holy I literally have not been able to stop crying all morning. My whole body is shaking. This is the first time it's been without nicotine in five years. The caption, yesterday was rough, LMAO. I need to have a patch on because I'm literally going to lose my If I'm recovering from nicotine and from surgery, I feel like I should have quit a long time ago.